Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. We are on the way to uh, Palatium Stellius because there is a call for help and also we want to find out uh, what we could find in this uh, system. Unfortunately we cannot excavate uh, more resources out of the system that we're currently in but let's travel and chart a couple of new routes shall we interesting to the Imperium I don't know is that a system Okay, we potentially can go there uh, in the future, but for now, let's explore what we're having here. Unidentified Imperial Void Ship and a couple of not scanned planets. Let's start with just finding the uh, finding out more about the planets. Got some plat steel here. We have plenty of that. Not needed anymore. So we're good. Ooh, that is nice. Want some good find. Let's continue with the unidentified Imperial Void ship. An unknown ship hails you as soon you are in detection range. The ship, the Scarlet Pursuer. Helped by Captain Demir Sh Shani, has footfall listed at its home port. Message hints transparently at communication with the Cabassian mission. Boxmaster adds that the captain has a proposal for you. Uh, the ship lets you know that they will readily reward you for any information about the burning worlds of the Coronos Expanse. Let's ask what uh, they want. The reply is courteous as it is vague. The captain cites scholarly curiosity in this understudied type of world. Upon hearing the message, Magos uh, Pascal expresses keen interest in burning walls and asks the Lord Captain to take the issue into consideration. Jay immediately clears uh, that the captain would never dash about uh, scho uh, scholarly curiosity but only for a sub, uh, suitably high return. In the case, perhaps the Lord Captain might want to ask into the burn, uh, also uh, uh, look into the burning uh, worlds. Uh, we're sharing. Hmm. Let them know you have no current information on burning worlds, but you are willing to sell them. Okay, would that be a contract? No, it would not. Would that be anything here? It's more a rumor, right? Friendly Cabellian, the ship searches for burning walls. And they are gone just as fast as uh, we have found them. Oh, nice, they do have Xeno tech, but we have no excavator. That is unfortunate. Let's land uh, with a landing party and see what the distress call is about. I know there uh, there was a distress call about uh, the Drukhari here. This indeed is a paradise world. Good, where do we need to go? The world A bit of athletics here and there. Feet. 
All right, let's go, baby. The body is lying face down. Its crooked fingers cringe to the ground. Woman had her spine torn out. This noble woman is staring at the sky with unblinking eyes. Her fingers have been thoroughly broken. I tread a path unexplored. Uh, it seems to me like the Drukhari have been here. I definitely do not like what I'm the seeing. World will bow. Face and the hands are twisted. Victim's last uh, moments were full of torment. I can imagine that, so... Let us see what I found. Embrace true the game power. does everything the in its power to tell us just how horribly... And I got uh, ambushed. Pain and duty go hand in hand. All right, we got a couple of wounds. And apparently there are more traps. Well, look at that. At last. You took your time coming to meet me, monkey. Hold your foul tongue, abomination. Such filth will not use that tone with the Emperor's Chosen. Why? I sent an invitation. By way of the cattle that dwelt on this world. And the Chosen has so obediently appeared. How are my words anything but the truth? How disappointing. This clearly isn't Erimeris, the Cabal's Archon, whom we had the displeasure of meeting on their boss 6. Once again, we are dealing with a pawn instead of the true root of the problem. <laughs> a little monkey remembered the Archon's name. Such a clever thing you are. You might just make a good pet, after you've been properly trained and stripped of your misplaced arrogance. Speaking your language is slightly less trying for my patience than being forced to listen to a monkey machine butchering our tongue. Besides, I want you to understand well what I'm about to tell you. How is it that out of all of your kind, you're the only one to discover our feasts in advance? Usually, you're all so slow and sluggish that my kin have always been enough time to leave the battlefield before aid arrives. But still, time and time again, your dogs have been there to stand in the Cabal's way. That thing is perceptive. Do not play the fool, rogue trader. The monkey know when their world or vessel is due for reaping. The monkey hide or attempt to bare their teeth. Somehow, the monkey know what we know. And I suspect that the search for this leak ought to start with you. After all, it was with you that this series of setbacks began. A friend from the Inquisition introduced me to the right people. You can thank him yourself. Are you trying to convince me that a monkey, even a well-trained monkey pet, is capable of perceiving the designs of the Drukhari? <laughs> Both you and your friend will pay for this audacity. I take it thanks will not be forthcoming. I will tell you this, monkey. I know you might be lying to me, or you might even be unaware of who is guiding your hand in any case. 
I have grown quite tired of your attempts to delay the inevitable. Surely you too have run yourself ragged, chasing us between the stars. Let us put an end to this. Finish this standoff. My forces against yours once and for all. All right, that sounds like a plan. You wander among the stars, so you must know of this place. An ancient reach where the echo of stellar agony rings still. A place that serves as a graveyard for old stars, still filled with residual emissions and glittering dust. The place that buried your wreck, stuffed full of delicious, frightened monkey, and the horrors that devoured them. The threshold of our domain. Your kind call it the Cinerus Maleficum. That is where our disputes will be settled. The Cabal of the Reaving Tempest will be waiting for you, monkey. I'll be there. Splendid, monkey. Well, now that the offer has been extended, I must take my leave. I hope you prove diverting for my subjects who might... Oh well, of course, he just runs off and leaves us alone with all of uh, these other goons. Wonderful. Alright, needed to take a short break. Enough blah 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 and let's get right into the battle. I think we need to bum rush these guys. A couple of them do have sniper rifles. So I don't want to create a long ranged fight. Instead, what we're going to do is we are taking cover as close as possible to them. Saiken, Argenta, Pascal, and Cassia over here. Cassia could move forward and then. Oh, look at you. Well, aren't you a cutie? Slutheth. If I wouldn't know any better, that guy looks like a UNT. Alright, starting the battle. Um, Cassia moves up and... Isn't this a job for the Buff Saiken a little bit, and then that is her initial action. Saiken's initial action this is, is buffing Argenta. Now is the first real turn. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. Two of them could move over there. That guy here has unfortunately resisted. So we're pushing him a little bit closer. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Moving this and uh, maybe positioning the back line here. It's a good start. Me? Cassia buffs you herself. Insist, Lord Captain. Can't hit the guys up there. I'm so instead, let's hand it over to Argenta. Around. Who is going to take a couple of shots? Right I'll over here. It. Well, that's around 100 points of damage. That's not bad. And we got a free Stronghold Stratagem. Allies in an area gain deflection and armor. Oh, it looks like if you insist, you our backline can benefit from it. Pascal moves up, gets a free Stratagem for one round. Anyone is uh, needs to re-roll um, successful dodges. I like that.
Only 38% hit chance. I do not like that. Everybody gets Machine Spirit Communion. Open uh, the armor of this guy and then BAM! Nice little hit. Lovely. Uh, we already have the Stronghold Stratagem, right? I think so. Which says let's do joint analysis or alternatively Let's just make sure that that guy takes a lot more damage. Oh, wow. At your back and call. I really don't like what I'm seeing. Abelard heals himself. And uh, mm -hmm. I think, well, we're just going to use all of our defensive talents, taunting Victory these two. Imminent. Success. Uh, defense. It will be done. Let's range damage At and attack. Call. Okay, cool. Well, So, four starters. Whole oh, backline gets that. Triumph. And that. Ruin and that. Beacons. And we're moving to here. I need Put this in. Status. And that could be a double One kill. Step. Fabulous hit. Ravage Time to uh, move slightly back so I can do a fantastic job. My Question is, do we want to take this side first or this side? And I, th I think... I'd want to take this side here first. God Emperor, move you through me. Be the That's a fantastic <laughs> hit. Eradicated taste. My blood. As the Emperor commands, I act. Moving back to here. We got a single shot, but that is not perfect. I would rather take uh, the controlled fire. Or we're taking this, which does not hit anyone. Cool. Fantastic. We're up to six stacks of versatility. That's good. Very good. I am a Abel Art not a gets a uh, further buff.
could move further forward. Or alternatively, um, Argenta could take an extra turn. Let's force this guy here to move away in fear. That's a good start. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Could we kill one? Hmm, unlikely. I'll do it. This is why I was oh, chosen. Of pain tenfold. Do not dare ask. All right, Pascal. Could hit these guys. I like the idea. Do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of uh, this. Then hit these guys. Big fat overcharge attack works wonders. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. My power is to serve. And I mean, this here only works with cover, right? Well, it's in cover. Yeah, we're not in cover at the moment. That's a bit of a problem. So, I'm not sure if stronghold stratagems stack, but we're going to find out. This guy back here is a problem. This guy as well. It will be done. So both of them should focus on Abelard. He charges in. Victory Extra hit points. Extra ranged defense. And he's just going to stand in the back line, keep, uh, keeping all of the enemies on him. Good, everybody gets a nice little bonus. Cassia can't get an extra attack. Pascal could. Let's give Pascal that extra attack. Barely out of range, that's unfortunate. Request approved.
Good, good damage, but the hit chance is relatively speaking low. Let's give it a, a shot. Unfortunately, a miss. Saiken moves in to cover and delivers a nice little extra attack. Fantastic. That's 100 points of damage. Good job, Saiken. I like that. Alright. Moves up here. Here we go. Fabulous. Faith without deeds is worthless. Doubt is for the weak. Hit, hit. I think we're just taking this one here. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Very good. So if we move here, be careful not to cross my gaze. Taking these guys out of cover. Argenta gets another buff. This guy up there for free. Argenta takes an extra turn. No limits on shots this time. And I want to see a couple of really good uh, good kills. As the Emperor commands, I'll do it. This is unacceptable. As the Emperor commands, I act. Gone. As the Emperor commands, I act. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. My Fabulous hit, and another one. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. Free reload on both weapons, just for good measure. And we can't reach them with a grenade, but we're good. Purpose guides me. I should have used press the advantage. Fabulous. Listen, we're putting this up there. Everybody gets a nice little bonus. And I think we can't reach this guy. Nope. Oh, 
I've suffered worse. Time momentum. A tactically sound approach. Indeed. At your back and forth. Hit the guy. It taunt him. Done. Make him our eternal enemy. And you know what? Let's just continue hitting him. Your last stroke. Your back and forth. That's not the Seneschal's job. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I think Abelard has done very well. One step closer. Ruin beckons. Purpose guides me. Unfortunately, a miss. Uh, that is very unfortunate. This battlefield in righteous fury. Eradicated. And there we go. Heinrich is somehow never winning initiative, despite all of his great agility. And then he always gets shafted so heavy. Okay, I love that. Venom blades seem to be good as well. Intriguing. What's this? Two-handed toxic burst splinter rifle. Lots of Drukhari gear here. Powers unseen uncover my path. Also, by the way, total, uh, totally game logic. He left all of these guys here to die and even announced it. Nice armor, by the way. Very nice armor. Unfortunately, you need Drukhari armor for it. This explorator is blessed with multifunctionality. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, well, I think, to be fair, this is likely all we're going to get here. Whenever the wearer is affected by an ally's ability. Hmm, that's a good uh, dodge cloak. I wonder, what are you wearing as a cloak? 10% dodge or 3% dodge per ally ability hmm. I think this here is good on a longer uh, perspective yeah <coughs> that will be Let's good on a long-term perspective all right, that's pretty much it from this planet. We've beaten the Drukhari. I was once initiated into some of the mysteries of tech ministry. I still have questions that you... And I think the initial raid is successfully uh, retracted. Let's double check no nothing more here let's double check all of this blades of the void the Xenos Marazai dares to give the rogue trader an ultimatum fight the final battle uh, in the Cinerous Maleficarium Nebula or continue fending off raids Probable location. Lapidus Mortis. Okay. 
where exactly would that be? Let's find where this guy is. And make him pay. Give me a second, I'll search. Okay, what we're looking for is over here. These three systems apparently are the nebula that he's talking about. So that'll be our next um, our next target. Can't really get anything else out of here. But before we do that, we have a few loose ends in footfall that we need to uh, that we need to close. Very good. So, Foulstone. Janus. Uh, your Lordship, Janus is reporting about disaster. Ghost, ghostly Xenos figures appear out of uh, dusk and go away at dawn. Um, in a ravenous swarm, they attack the agricultural facility each night, freezing everything they touch. But they takes place, uh, take place in the complexes closest to the uncontrolled sector of the planet, where nature itself has turned uh, against us. Or spawning these wraith. It is, um, it is likely they are gathering uh, brothers to break at dawn. While while dens how uh, dens howling and destroying the living things, then disperse into thousands of fading flesh as the agricultural facilities that happen to be in the way of their dance fall into disrepair. What do we know about the wraith? Not much. Incorporeal, difficult to discern. At dawn they dissolve into mist. Wraith also differ amongst themselves. Some uh, come as dark as the void. Others shine like the night sky. Something is not right. The rays appear on the planet's outskirt and rush towards the heart of the contaminated region instead of invading from within. Furthermore, their differences may suggest that there are two groups of wraith opposing each other. Um... J, find the masters of the Xeno Whispers that exorcise, uh, exorcise the spirits from the Xeno artifacts. I like that. A group of suspicious character covers in Talisman have arrived on Janus after seeing the dance. First hand, they uh, conferred and then made a short trip into the jungle. They later returned, the numbers diminished, loaded with ancient Aldari obelisks stolen from the runes. Locals have caught the obelisks installed in the agricultural uh, complexes as a blessed miracle. The energy uh, resonance of the obelisks has formed an intangible dome, providing shelter against the raid. Okay, unfortunately a little bit of profit factor lost. Uh, but we got a lot of security. And we now got Scorcher which allows us to dish out more damage if we so desire. All right, Draconos looks good. There isn't that much more that we can do on Dragonos, unfortunately. All right, the mines of Vibus uh, 6 are once again on Tormal at the depths level of Zeta 5. Wardens have discovered a mountain of mutilated bodies. The guards believe that it's a cult of heretics operating in the ranks of the slaves. The superintendent tried to reason with the mob of slaves, but what was mauled instead. Exterminate. Um, all right, let's uh, find out what exactly ha uh, happens. Carefully inspecting the dead bodies of the convicts, the wardens conclude that they had not been killed by humans. Nobody could identify weapons which inflict such wounds. The body were um, demonstrated to the convicts. The riot died down. Everybody realized that some unknown force was behind the murders. Interrogation also yielded many information that helped identify the one behind the murders that sparked the riot. Uh, and the level has been sealed.
security or efficiency what are we missing layer in the void is good that's a nice attack but unfortunately we blocked it off uh, with uh, the iron eye grenades which are also good i mean they're respawning um mobile extractions aren't bad either to be fair but since we got lay on the void that is not happening and we got four percent hit chance which is great so now it's either security or efficiency and we got either test of wills um the cannoneers recruited uh, a note for their outstanding marksmanship torpedoes 15 percent more damage then we got a uh, two-handed melee weapon that seems fantastic and all allies gain plus five ballistic skill and damage with the ranged uh, weapons okay that's fantastic that is absolutely great that is fantastic that's just a great defensive bonus i like the 15 percent here but this is even better cool concept with all of uh, the um, with all of our uh, little uh, colonies uh, there good there is another route which we will explore in a second but let's do footfall first because there are a couple of loose ends like i said all right it would be a pleasure to attend jay's party something is going on there's always something going on. So, this is the party for Jay finally becoming the traitor. And I wonder if there is kind of an, a climax for all of the companion storylines. Intriguing. All right, Jay always was over here. Can not wait until she calls me Shireen again. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Nice. Apparently, when we come back, we're getting a couple of consumables. I like that. Very, very good. Okay, but that's not what we came here for. Where is good old Jay? The world trembles beneath my feet. She always was over here. Hmm. Let's just double check. Jay's proposed at the Rogue Trader and uh, and she celebrates the acquisition with her crew and footfall. Okay, and that's what we were uh, trying to do, wasn't it? The world will bow. 
Is the party downstairs? Question mark. Let me find it. All right, here we go. We finally found her. May the gravitational wills of your worlds never lack the grip, just as my heart never lacks the joy for a sight of Road Trigger von Valencius. Octaviana, I can't believe you actually roped the rogue trader into coming to your party. If a rogue trader raises a toast to your health, I'll be starting to believe you really are a princess, not just a smuggler with a gift of gab. Please, take a seat, your lordship. With no exaggeration, it's the finest MSIG that I have ever graced in the bar. Jay personally acquired it, and uh, she says, for a special occasion. It seems that you are the special occasion. Let us drink to the Lady of the Hour, Jay. The assembled uh, group bursts into approving cheers with the sound of clicking glasses. All right. Bravo, Octi. This amuses me very well. Very well indeed. Jay's self-satisfied replies elicits a general laughter, and the tension on the table seems to loosen slightly. Octavia and Jay are your friends? Friends? She's my worst enemy. The vengeful spirit of retribution sent to, uh, to punish me for my youthful transgressions. Mistress Heradi has a special gift for knocking me off balance and dragging me into uh, difficulty. Yep, she certainly has that. Do you see, Shireen? Do you see? Uh, petty, miserly, callous, unforgiving friends. The exalted one has sent me. So these are your associates. The precious roses of the garden of my soul and the golden little bees that bring honeyed riches to the treasure's houses. Yes, this is the crew of the cold traders. Uh, two identicals uh, are the tricksters twins, my closest uh, associates, Kor, our resident hothead, and his much wiser sister, Tora. All right. Tora, because you are assholes with the gun, I dragged you into as many scrapes as Jay has. Uh, that's not to name I'd be using for you. Can tell that you. Uh, I can tell you that much. Okay. And of course, there is someone who stirs trouble. Falco, the man who has just approached the table, is uh, hideous by anyone's standards. A repulsive face, greasy hair and bulky veins uh, at his temples. His attempt to an amicable uh, smile is so transparently false and off-putting that your finger itched to reach for your weapon. Mistress Haldari, allow me to wish you a happy Ami Markar. Ma uh, Master Mercy could uh, not let such occasion go unmarked. Uh, he sends you warm wishes and Mercy's gift. While in combat, the Pharaoh of this cloak gains 15 fellowship whenever there are no enemies in four cell radius. Okay, well, we have a couple of people uh, who need fellowship. Oh, Falco, I'm much obliged and touched by your presence. May the fire in your heart burn forever bright and hot like the stars in the Grammar system. Isn't Falco the one who stole Jay's cargo? The very same, a graspy piece of Grox shit. But the stars of the Gromor system all died around 100,000 years ago and the system around them are true breeding grounds of death. All right. Who is Mercy? Some big mysterious figure in the mission. Uh, the Calibicas put him here to keep a handle on things and make sure that the interests of the senior partners aren't forget uh, forgotten. Falcon and Mercy aren't officially connected. Falco's just another prosperous mission agent like Jay and other people, but Falco's happy to do Mercy's dirty work for him. Um, it's customary that the Caspicalia uh, to attend parties of people you have tried to ruin. Uh, after you got involved in this turf war, they all decided that peaceful resolution would be the best. This is a symbolic confirmation of the ceasefire. Alright, say nothing. Sacrificing time you could have spent on business to come here for me as a priceless gift, Falco. I will not test your generosity any further. As Falco turns away from the table, you see a snarl of feral hatred twisted his already repulsive features. Alright, I should take my leave. How fleeing are the moments of happiness, Shireen. Go, but know that you are always welcome at Jay's table. Look no further. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, did we... Uh, did we finish this 
I think the answer is yes. Embrace true power. Is the question, uh, have we really finished it? Wouldn't the quest then be updated? Did I make a mistake by just letting her uh, sit there? It sounded like the party was just about to get started. I don't know. Alright, quest completed. Uh, join her celebration, which means that errand is done. Now, there is another small errand that I, I think I would like to explored. figure out, which was this here. Finally, the exterminators have opened uh, the area. And there are plenty of thugs. Wonderful. Just what we needed. You are in the presence of House Orcelio. Sins hidden in the heart. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Brothers, sisters, look who've cleared the way. We break through and it's now or never. Of course. Go, go, shoot everyone in your way. I, I knew it. It's always the same. Alright, frontliners to the front line. We move to here. And where's Pascal? Down there. Okay, cool. Start the battle. This time I'm not going to do the same mistake as always. Uh, our good friend Heinrichs, who oftentimes just apparently needs a self buff in order to no. get the necessary dodge, right? Let's and see to it. passive uh, this and. Self-buff on everybody. So Heinrich, uh, what's the dodge amount? All right, the cloak already gives us 12 uh, dodge, which means it will only become better over time. Good job, Heinrich. Um, that brings us to Cassia. Who moves to the here? Is I'm not I'm not being being all right, all of them move nicely into position. Cassia buffs herself. For one round, all allies in the area gain more cover efficiency. That's exactly what I was hoping. And we are going to see Pascal over here. That is that. Uh, then we're doing a little bit of that. Free betterment of this uh, zone. Pascal gets uh, into cover, like he's supposed to. Good. We do a little bit of that. A massive kill. <laughs> <laughs> the 
more defense over here and better hit chance and we Gucci. I have read tomes of military tactics. All right, one, two. <laughs> that little stair was priceless. And we got uh, for one round attacks into the area will will affect I'm overwhelming sure status. I like that. Around. Isn't this a job for the serfs? God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. <laughs> I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. It appears to me that we are very, very solidly killing all of them. They haven't even taken a turn. The Emperor's judgment. Well, good to see that our levels have paid off. I love how they have all moved into the middle and then in one whoosh they just got washed away. Feeling bad for the people here. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Powers unseen uncover my path. Hmm. All right, a couple of boots. Where I cannot suffer the burning effects. Walking over burning cells. Uh, where it inflicts three additional stacks of burning whenever they stand on burning cells. Well, that's all fun and good. Who, by the way, needs fellowship? Um, each enemy killed by the wearer's area attack increases the damage by 3% versus fellowship, which automatically increases a couple of uh, a couple of uh, damaging abilities. I think we're just going with a 15 uh, fellowship. That'll bring us to 60 fellowship, which is good. Embrace true power. The Emperor favors me today. This is the final sketch. Skeetra's design. Okay, we found that. I remember that we were looking for all of the designs. Triumphant, as always. The dead are covered in ulcers and several show traces of repulsive mutation. That's not good. Mutant layer down there. My feet. Operation successful. The machine god grants the insight. Good, that will allow us to get back up. Ruinous favor prevails.
Hmm. Small toxic knife and a lot of other stuff. Intriguing. All right, not particularly lots to see here, to be fair. Uh, we wanted dreams and stories. The hint mentioned a cogator statue at a small temple. Footfalls atrium. We need to get uh, there for dreams and stories. Uh, and this situation will unfortunately not resolve itself, so we will need to go into the mutant's lair, but we're going to do that the next time. Uh, we've already gone a little bit over time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you want to prevent mutations from the like button, you need to thoroughly tap it in order to make sure that it uh, still is uh, handy and dandy like it always used to be. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.